Good morning friendlings. Today is Monday and I thought that I would do my next weekly update or couple of weeks update. So I'm now 39 weeks and Sunday mon and two days. So very, very exciting. Um, Saturday is going to be my due date, Saturday the 6th of April. Um, so to kind of give you an update on where I'm at now, I haven't had any Braxton Hicks at all. And the only thing I can kind of tell you that I've had sort of as like practice is um, period pains. The period pains have been um, kind of on and off for the last four days. Um, they say it's like a form of practice before labour. Um, I've also got quite a lot of pain in my lower back. Um, baby is currently back to back uh, since going to our midwife appointment on Friday. Which is really annoying um, considering that... <laughs> considering that she's been in like prime position for the last however many weeks. So that's you know annoying she's two-fifths engaged uh which is good um everything else absolutely fine the only thing that the midwife is confused over is the fact that my ankles aren't swollen yet my hands um the backs of my knees are still really really quite uh quite swollen in regards to like there's a lot of pressure there so it's almost like the fluid is stopping at my knees and then going back up. Um, I've got quite a lot of pressure down below. Um, she has dropped again, I feel. Um, that's how it like looks. Um, I'm currently sat in her room, actually. I'm going to try and do a tour today because basically... Um, Ollie did his horoscope this morning and there's a new moon on Friday the 5th and it links to his horoscope, like his star sign, links to my star sign and it links to um, obviously Aries as well as it's now Aries star sign now, which she will be. So I'm now convinced, even though I'm kind of like a little bit sceptical, I'm now convinced that she's going to be here on Friday. So we shall see. It would be nice if she was. Um, I'm over the moon that we've made it into April without her being here yet, just because I really wanted her to be an April baby. I'd like, I got it set in my head that she was going to be an April baby. So that's really, really good. Um, movement has been absolutely going for me. Like she has been loving life. Um, today has been a bit slower actually. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Funny enough, it's just remind me because Ollie's just texted me. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I mean, what else has happened? Oh, so I've gone on maternity leave. So my last day at work was the 22nd of March. Um, I've had a week off. This is my second Monday off I've had. Or I will that you know my second monday off the first week was pretty good because i had loads to do um i feel like this week's going to be a lot slower uh mainly because i'm a lot slower and also i haven't got as much planned i'm going to try and see ollie's mum and grandma tomorrow for lunch but maternity leave's weird like it hasn't really sunk in that i'm on maternity leave it feels like i'm just on a two-week holiday so i think by the end of this week um, I think then I'll be like, oh, I'm not going back to work yet. But at the same time, it's like, I'm hoping she'll be here, so I won't even be thinking of that. Um, but I've kind of done, like, lots of bits and pieces around the house, and I've been keeping myself, like, occupied. Um, me and Olive have been watching a lot of videos, uh, on birthing and... Um, we also made my playlist last night and Ollie realised, said to me this morning, he was like, 
I've just realised you're not really a calm person, are you? I was like, no, I need something that's going to keep me going, like, upbeat and, um, you know, like, uh, keep me pushing through instead of being, I don't know, falling asleep to some jazz or classical. That's like, that's not me. So, hypnobirthing, obviously, you're meant to have that kind of calm music. So, I don't know. I think we'll have to have kind of backup, really of the calmness in case that does work um but who knows we've repacked my maternity bag my hospital bag so that's all been done now ollie's even got his stuff in i think now i think he's put his stuff in i've got to repack her bag today because there's little bits and pieces that i haven't done yet like we're taking a bottle with us in case she's on formula so i need to i need to sterilize that but it's just little bits and pieces really like there's just things that i want to get done before she's here like there's videos it's videos more than anything so i need to film in this room and show you guys her room properly um but it's just like little bits and pieces for me really um my eyelashes are still going strong my face is still round as ever what else has been going on we've I don't know whether I told you so two weeks ago, three weeks, it's probably three weeks ago now. We went to hospital at half seven in the morning because we had reduced baby movement, which I was worried about because she's been so active that anything different just threw me right off. So we went into hospital at half seven in the morning. That was like, I think it was the week yeah, I think it was my last week of work. So um, we went in at half seven in the morning and basically she was fine. So I don't know what she was doing. She just she's just playing games with me. Um, so that was quite scary, but that's, you know, she's fine there. Um, obviously I did my vlog. Um, I'm going to try and, I'm trying to vlog a lot more. I quite like the idea of doing um, so many days till due date. So I might do another vlog tomorrow or the day after um <laughs> going through my day is like what i'm doing running up to her being here because i think that'd be quite funny to look back on um so i quite like to get another one of those in um yeah so i think that's kind of it really i don't really know what else i don't think there's much else that's been happening i mean i'm just kind of waiting waiting for her now which is um fun but then also very frustrating because all i want to do is just have her here now yeah i really don't think there's anything else to update you on since the last time i mean it's just been kind of progressing and um the swelling hasn't gone down my belly's still getting bigger my sleeping's not been too bad i've had a lot of pain from the pain in my lower back and my pelvis it's hard moving over in bed um i can't wait to get rid of the pregnancy pillow apart from that i think i think that might actually be half a decent update really um so yeah so there's going to be a couple more videos that i'm going to get done and uploaded ready for you um i don't really know what the plan's going to be once she's here I'm hoping that I can get something lined up so at least you guys can see something. I've said to Ollie that I'd really like to do some filming when we're in the hospital. Mainly because I'd like to look back but also I'd quite like to do a uh, a um, birth vlog. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's short and sweet. But it has like a lot hasn't really changed since the last time I updated you. It generally is just waiting now. So hopefully she will be here soon. And um, yeah, then it will be me, Ollie and Baby Bean instead of just me uh, vlogging to you. So yeah, so I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.